and girls, it's me, Miss Becky. I'm so glad you're here. Welcome to my very first video series where we're going to learn all about the amazing animal kingdom. And we're going to begin today by learning about the sea otter. I know, isn't he awesome? I can't wait to make him with you. See you soon. Otters are amazing. Did you know that sea otters can live out their entire lives without ever leaving the water? It's true. And to make sure that they don't drift apart when they nap, sea otters will fall asleep holding hands. Isn't that neat? They have a wide variety in their diet. Their favorite foods are sea urchins, crayfish, crabs, fish, mussels, snails, limpets, which are basically snails that live in the water, and frogs. Sea otters are truly amazing creatures. Hi, boys and girls. Look what we're gonna make today. Oscar the otter. Isn't he beautiful? Oh my gosh, he is so cute, I can't stand it. So let's get right into it. The first thing we're gonna to have to go over though is the supplies. And I really tried to keep the supplies for this project super simple. Let me put this off to the side so we can go over it. You're going to need a black Sharpie marker. You're also gonna need either crayons or oil pastels. It doesn't matter which, but whatever you have, you're gonna need a white one, a black one, a brown or reddish brown one, and a yellow one. You're also going to need a white sheet of paper and a turquoise or blue sheet of paper. Now don't fret, if you don't have this, then all you have to do is get another sheet of white paper and you can color it in in blues and greens and create your water background. Not a big deal at all. You're also going to need a glue stick and a pair of scissors. Finally, the thing that you're gonna need is this, the PDF that you can get for free. Just go to artwithmissbeckylessons.com or you can click in the description box below the direct link that I put there where it'll take you right to this. And all you have to do is print it off and cut this out and that will help you make the head of Oscar the Otter. Okay, are you ready? So let's begin. Okay, now I already cut out my template, so I'm going to put it up at the top of my paper and I'm gonna take my black Sharpie marker and I'm gonna trace around the head of what's going to be my amazing Oscar the Otter. Okay, now let's draw his body. His body is basically in the shape of a jelly bean, if you think about it. Kind of a Humpty Dumpty. Do you know who Humpty Dumpty is? It's in the shape of Humpty Dumpty or a jelly bean. All right, there he goes. That's not too bad. Okay, now let's make his arms. And if you can see on here, his arms are kind of squared off, but they're rounded on the corners for both his arms and his feet. So let's draw his first arm. We're gonna start over here. And we're gonna draw in, draw in, draw in, draw in, and curve down, go down, curve around again, and come back. Then we're gonna come over here, try to find the same spot so that they're both symmetrical, and we're gonna come in, come in, come in, come in, come in, and curve down. Keep going, now curve up, and finish off at the side. Nice. Now let's do his legs. Come up from the bottom. If you think of this in terms of a clock, we're gonna start around 4.30 or five o'clock. We're gonna come in, curve it, come down, come down, come down, curve it again, and come back. Good job. Now let's start over here around eight o'clock. We're gonna come in, curve it, come down, curve it again, and come back. There, it looks like his little legs are tucked underneath him as he's floating in the water. Now let's give him some nails. Two or three, doesn't matter. 
There we go. Now let's draw his tail. His tail's gonna be over here. Now I didn't leave a whole lot of space for our tail, but that's okay even if we have to draw it very small because if you ever notice how otters swim in the water, a lot of their tail is actually underneath the water. So if it doesn't look like he has a big tail, we'll just tell people, hey, it's underneath the water. So let's draw a curvy tail and come back. Very nice. Now. Let's turn our paper on its side, whichever side you want, and we're gonna draw a curved line for the top part of his face. There you go. Looks kinda like a mask, doesn't it? Now let's come up to the top and we're gonna draw two big round circles for his eyes. That's one big round circle, another one over here, another big round circle, beautiful. Now let's make his nose. His nose is rather large and we're gonna come out and curve a line, curve a line, curve in, and come up. Beautiful, that is a nice, beautiful big nose. Now let's give him a smile, because Oscar is a very happy otter. Nice, now let's give him some smiling cheeks on each side, and finish it off with some whiskers, some wispy whiskers on each side. Great, now let's do his ears. He kinda has teddy bear ears. So let's do a nice curved line for one ear. And starting over here, we're gonna pretend to draw over to the other side. Don't really draw, we're gonna pretend to draw. And we're gonna make another curved ear there. Perfect, now let's go inside and we're gonna start at this corner where we began and we're gonna do a half moon shape because this is basically, we're showing the inside of his ear. Isn't that neat how you do that? Now come on over here, start at the same spot where we began draw a nice moon shaped and come back. Beautiful. The next thing we're gonna do is draw the inside of his body, his tummy. We want it to be nice and thick, maybe about two fingers in, so let's measure two fingers. And now we're gonna start. Start curving, drawing the line, come down to his arm, come down, and we're gonna continue to draw. Pick up your pen, pretend to draw, pretend to draw, and continue to draw the line Wonderful. Come up here, continue to draw, and then come up to the top. Very nice. This is coming along very nicely. The next thing we're gonna do is we're going to color in the inside of his tummy. All right, and we're gonna do that in yellow. Okay, now that his tummy is done, let's take our brown crayon or oil pastel and we're going to color in his entire body. That means we're gonna color in all the paws and this top part of his head, his little ears, and his tail. Okay, go. Now I'm done coloring in that part. Now did you notice that I went outside the lines a little bit here? But that's okay because we're gonna be cutting out Oscar and we're gonna be cutting off that part so it's not such a big deal. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna color in Oscar's eyes and nose with the black. Go. Okay, that looks pretty good. Next, we're gonna outline all of Oscar. And what I mean by that is, I'm going to come around in all the black lines, every single black line that I made with the black marker that I drew him with, I'm gonna go over with my oil pastel or my crayon. It's gonna make it stand out. You'll be able to see the details of Oscar a lot better. All right, let's do that now.
Okay, he's looking pretty good. The next thing we need to do is to take the white oil pastel and put little white dots in his eyes. That's where the light shimmers and shines off of it. And that makes him look just a little bit more real. There you go. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut him out. Let me show you how we're gonna do that. I'm gonna cut in from the side and notice that I'm not actually gonna cut on the black line. Can you see that? I'm actually cutting right outside the black line. Now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create the background for him. If you notice this, this makes it look like water, beautiful water. Do you see how these little swirls, those are the little ripples in the water. Do you see those? Okay, so now we're gonna make some ripples in our water. And the way that we're gonna do that is we're gonna take our white oil pastel and we're gonna make half circles and whole circles to show the ripples in our water. Okay, go. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create the beautiful little bubbles that come up when you're splashing in the water. So let's create those by putting little dots all over the page. There we go, okay. So now let's see how I, Oscar's gonna look on there. That looks pretty cool, he's looking awesome but we need to glue them onto there. And I'm gonna show you a tip on how to glue. The way that you do this is that you put glue only on the outside of your project. Okay, now that we have it all prepared with our glue, let's put it on our background. Let's position him, but I'm not going to rub him into place here. I'm gonna pat him down. And because I don't wanna smear my project or ruin it, I'm gonna turn it over and massage the back of this. Let's take a look and see how Oscar turned out. Oh my gosh, he's adorable. I love him, I really do. That turned out really nice, they look about the same. I had a super fun time with you today making Oscar the Otter. I hope you learned a little bit more about how awesome otters are. And join me in my next video when we make Geraldine and Gerard Giraffe. Until then, create something great today. Bye.